My friends, welcome to Distant Worlds Universe! Now, unfortunately, uh, due to me installing some of the mods and I've tried to switch we, uh, the scenes uh, or the teams, uh, I can't really uh, get the right things going. Maybe it's because uh, the Bacon mod does use a other XE and the Dust Chrome one has this little program running. I don't know, but what I do know is we might as well just start with a very new empire. So links to the mods will be in the description. Hopefully it is something that you uh, are looking very much forward to. These uh, mods have been updated uh, in January of this year, which is quite surprising that th since this game is so old. Um, let's see. So we're going with the bacon, 200 stars, huge sectors, pre-warp, aggressiveness is unstable, difficulty is hard. Research, very expensive. Space creatures, normal pirates, normal, and pirates ranked normal. Destroyed pirates do not respond is checked. Because I always forget that. In terms of colonization, it's plentiful, normal, and the range is going to be 98 as suggested. Uh, enforced colonization, range limits to one sector. And we're going to be playing as core, and this is a machine. Machine one, and I do do like to try this one. I've never tried it before. Mm. Large military ship size. We have faster construction speed. Sure. Lower tourist income. Lower trade income. Low migration rate. So uh, machines probably they will generate money by tourism, but not as much as you would hope, which is fine by me. Uh, we're just going to be core because we're easy like that. We got this uh, this this weird thing. I, I kind of think it looks nice. Uh, the outer core, since I don't want to be in the uh, the outer rim because there is not many planets there, and I already had a try at that, didn't work out at all. We're going to be starting as pre-war because I am enjoying that the most. Corruption is normal. Nineteen empires. Victory conditions are at 100% and let's start a game. Now, this could take a while and if it does, I'll see you at the moment that uh, we are in the game. So, hold on. We'll get right back. So, here we finally are. Um, there's a few things that you could do and don't really feel like reading it. So, let's start playing. Let's zoom out. Let's take a quick look at what is around us oh boy um well there are some interesting things like supernovas there is three four supernovas next to me maybe that it could be good for sort of research bonus and stuff like that we'll i'll try to get research done there um okay this works i'm very happy about that it wasn't uh in a previous attempt not sure why so Let's go into research. We have armor plating, and I will continue that because uh, ships without armor with a race that probably will piss off everyone is usually not the best course of action. Let's go with enhan uh, enhanced beam weapons, and we probably have to go with the upgrades on everything. I don't want to beeline a certain technology, and I know, I know there's going to be people saying you should just pick two and beeline that all the way to the end, but... I don't like that. I, I, I want to experience the game and I want to find out what everything does. I would also like to go with planetary bombardment and just nuke a planet completely to extinction. <laughs> Why not? We can try. Uh, energy. Uh, I love energy collection, but I kind of would like to go immediately for larger ship size instead of energy collection. We'll backtrack once we have larger ship size. Look at this. We can already go to 250 and then to 500, which is quite a nice step. And it will end up all the way in here. I don't think I can actually go in here. Uh, oh, actually, this is machine intelligence, so... I should be able to go in here. Maybe. Not quite sure. But, look at this. Maximum ship size is 2. Thousand, which is uh, quite interesting. We'll, uh, we'll go for warp as soon as we get it. And I'm thinking we might get it quite, quite soon. As for high tech, we no, won't be going for planetary surveying. And as the same goes with colonization, we'll do that later. 
I do enjoy going with medical as well as entertainment because well, these will boost up your growth speed and happiness of your planet. Ah, with all that out of the way, let's get back to our system over here. Um, if you are in the comment section, we will might name some of these systems to you. Uh, I'm not going to go into naming all of the planets because that is just too much of a hassle to me. I don't feel like doing so. I know there is plenty of people who do, like say Larry Monte. Uh, and he also suggested that I play this mod on the stream. And I had a lot of fun with it. That's why we're going to be doing so right now. Leaders. He needs to live. He needs to be alive throughout the game. Population growth is negative 10. It might change. Uh, war readiness, uh, military ship maintenance, troop recruitment and construction speed are all things that he will be leveling up. We have an intelligence agent that is good at sabotage. Uh, sure, why, why not? Um, let's not dismiss our leader because that will be a pain in the ass. There is, um, let's see, this is going to be, where's our planet? We're over here. Let's make sure we are getting started. Let's go to state ships. We have a constructor here. Uh, do I like the way it is set up? We have a command center. Oh, interesting design. Oh, wow. Um, there is definitely a few very nice ones. Look at these. Awesome. They look very, very cool. I like them probably a lot more than... The vanilla. Because they, they feel a bit bland. They feel a bit bland. So we will not be changing it. I like it. Evade, evade, do not evade, whatever. There's one thing that I would like to change. And it's probably not on here. And that is... Where are you? My resource scanner. It's not in there. Go by name. Docking bay, gas mining, no. Mining extractor. I don't want the extractors. I'm looking for the other thing. There you go. Resource profile. It's not on the ship. I do want to get it because we'll be using him also to get some information on uh, on the planet on, on the planet. Anything else I want to be popping in here? Well, movement speed is quite nice. We have a lot of fuel capacity on here. A really, that this is quite a bit. This, this, we can go 125 percent of our system. That is nice because we do want to get it inside the entirety of our system. So we'll we'll, we'll remain. We'll keep that. How is your directional thrust as well? Your acceleration turn rate is 10% per second. So we got six of those. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, in terms of name, well, we'll keep this like that. What I do like is we can just go like these. Will this be enough? Sure, let's save that. Exploration ship will do as soon as we get in there. State bases. Hmm... Manually upgrade the design. I want to increase the research. So let's go for lab. Shall we go? Well, maybe we don't want to. Maybe just 50. We can actually just make a research basis. And once we find planets that do a plus percentage we'll just move them over there and get a, uh, a defensive base next to it so at least the scientists are going to be somewhat protected there is no cargo capacity though that is one thing that we do want to change that we do want to add those um, i'm going to be messing up with the names a lot because a lot has changed where's my cargo capacity there so let's add this is way too, too few, right? Let's do 11,000. It's going to be quite expensive, but we are okay with that. Let's do some living quarters. Now, I 
252 in boarding strength. It's not much, but it, it at least is something. We have basic real guns, and I would like to go with all weapons. We can't evade, so we don't even have to try. How much energy do we have left? So we have a bit of a surplus. Shall we just get some missiles on here? Okay, eight. Eight of them. It does increase the firepower. It's still fairly weak. Not sure if I if I do like that. Mm, we can't do the rest of it, so let's just queue these up. I'll try my absolute best to not build or not change all of my designs like I did in the, the last attempt. So let's go to just just do we have bases? Uh, I guess we'll have to go to the planet. Yeah, sure, why not? We go here. Construction yard. We're going for the construction vessel. And we're going for the small spaceport. Let's purchase those. Both of them. So these are going to be made. What do we have in our system? Let's see. Okay. I think there might be something to fight over here. Yes, there are. The space slugs. So, which is nice. And you are just a gas giant. There is a ship in here. And this one has the destroyer. It could be that the warp technology is in this direction. So, once we get our exploration ship out, or maybe even our construct uh, construction ship out, we'll just send them immediately off to this direction. And there is a large ship the light cruiser and it has a lot of components that are damaged so it will take him a long ass time to build i don't want to go for that right away uh, could be that there is something interesting on the planet but we'll we'll see about that later there's a green planet over here you can see that by the green dot this is colonizable for us the quality is 93 the size not so much uh but i'm quite interested and as soon as we have colonization we'll definitely be looking into that now construction is 19 parts unbuilt now until we have warp i'll do my best to keep speeds up to a higher per percentage the taxation even though i love that we are going to be dropping i quite like the zero percentage one just so we get more in terms of growth speed. There we go. The construction ship is done. He'll immediately assist. No, that's not true. He is not going to be assisting in the construction of the spaceport. He doesn't need to. He has no mission. Let us send you out over here. Mm, well, you're not an exploration ship. Can we reach that? Oh, we can definitely reach that. So go here. Explore this planet. So he's going to be out and about for a bit. Um, once the spaceport is done, I would like to make sure we get at least two exploration ships. And we'll worry... I'll change the designs. I'll, I'll not destroy them and I'll not delete them. Uh, we'll just retrofit them into a sort of a direction in, in a way that we would like to, to go. I would like to do a bit more boarding. I've been looking at some video, uh, videos of Larry and, and, and seeing those um, boarding destroyers. They, they definitely are interesting. But what I would be interesting in even more, and I really dig this station, is I would like to know from you... From what, all of the ships that we could make, like buildable design. What should our escort, destroyer, light cruiser and heavy cruiser battleship be about? How should we use them? What weapons should we put on them? But what is their role? We could make the light cruiser into a missile boat, just on standoff. Or maybe do that with the high cruiser, using our smaller ships to go in and be personal with our 
future enemy. As for our exploration ship, can we increase your movement, your fuel supply? I'm quite happy about evasion. Sure, why not? I do like these looks. You're quite fast and I really appreciate that. Now, there's one thing that we can add here and those are the energy high tech labs and weapon labs. Unfortunately, I don't think I can add as much. There we go. We have a maximum size of 287. Can we add one of each? We can, we can actually. That is quite nice. I do like that. Do we have proximity sensors on here? Yes, we do. So, movement, directional thrusters, 13% per second. I've neglected these in the past and I actually don't want to do that again. Habitability in life. Before we start celebrating, we'll have to make sure that this actually fits. And it does. So, let's save these two designs as... Uh, buildable design so we don't be um, confused by them and let's make sure that we start queuing them up so let's build two exploration ships and we might build another construction ship why not let's go with another construction ship so two explorers to construction ship and that's how we're going to be starting let's unpause the game we're still on plus four we're going to be making sure we'll send the exploration ship also to these systems because one of these planets will have warp and i'm not a hundred percent sure that our construction ship is able to um to find it Quite weird, I don't see the, the small icon. Usually you do when you zoom out a bit, but don't see them. Okay, cool. So let's make sure that happens. Do we have... Oh, there we go. We have a building... Okay, you're automatic. Um, no. I kind of don't think I like that. Turn off. Yes. Let's go to exploration ships. And I don't want them automized as well. I don't care about the stations, maybe. Well, they auto retrofit. Uh, no. Is that a thing in the options that I messed up? Everything is controlled manually. So, not a 100% sure on why it isn't showing the way I like him. But, small freighters, these are... We'll just go to our own ships because these are from the private sector so i don't want to mess with them exploration ship as well as the spaceport i don't want it automated so can we just select you well it doesn't upgrade by the looks of it then i'm okay with it then i'm cool man it really looks nice so what do we have in our system and i would like to use the this a lot more wow this actually is not bad at all neither is this one okay never mind are you still going to be making that you are you are building the guest fine have it your way just just build it it's quite quite nearby why not exploration ship Make sure it's uh, it's going to happen. Uh, I would like to get that done before the end of the episode. Next episode, we probably will discover warp technology. Also, next episode, we're going to be looking into the tech bases so we can boost our technology. I don't want to wait too long with that either. So, come on now. Just be happy and be built. I seriously hate motorcycles like that. Seriously hate them. They're so, so darn loud. Uh, anyway, here we go. Two exploration ships. Let us go and head over to these two locations. 
Mm, one is in here. Explore. And the other one is going around here to explore as well. Woo! Well, with that done, I have uh, set up most of the things. Mm, we might as well just do them right now. Sure, why not? Let's go and do the design of the star bases. Otherwise, I'll have to go back towards them. Don't want that. Let's manually upgrade design. Let's get rid of Mark II. I don't like the amount of 30. It is way too few. Mm, 150 is more, more than enough. To, oh, trust me. More than enough. So, what else do we need? We don't need as much. We have enough. No, we don't have enough reactors. What the hell are you doing, game? That is enough. Crew quarters. And life. We'll go with all weapons. If you're being attacked, you, you do have the possibility of defending yourself. Uh, the weapons, we're going to be doing the same thing. So we'll have to add you. We'll have to add up to 150 of research labs. There we go. This looks almost good. All weapons, all weapons, save. And the high tech research lab, we're going to be doing the same thing at. Here we go. We have cargo capacity. We're having docking base. We have all that we want. Ah, well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one.